Straight ahead here on Golf America. This is a luxury homes, homes like I've never seen before. Estates that are just magnificent with architectural style that's very bold. We are off to South Florida and one of the finest country club communities in this part of the state. Plus, Golf Fitness Coach Mindy Boysen offers up another golf fitness tip that will help you get fit for golf and fit for life. And in our tip of the week, we'll offer up a great tip on how to eliminate the flying elbow. So, Dennis, what I'd like you to do is we have your forearm here, which is flying out, and it's very parallel to the ground. I want to show you. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, is brought to you by Antigua, always well played. Hi everyone and welcome to the show. This week we're heading down to South Florida and to Boca Raton to one of the finest golf course communities in this part of the state. Its commitment to providing excellent service is seen throughout its entire operation. It is also home to two wonderful layouts, the club course and our course of the week, the equestrian course. Considered one of South Florida's premier residential communities, the Polo Club of Boca Raton is an 1,100-acre playground for those who truly seek the best that life has to offer. Beyond the trademark white rail fences, the Polo Club offers two exceptional Tim Freeland designs, the club course and the equestrian course. Now, from the moment you enter the clubhouse, you begin to understand why the Polo Club sets the standard to which all other country club communities aspire. Estates that are just magnificent with an architectural style that's very bold. The crown jewel here at the Polo Club is the equestrian course. In 2006, golf course architect Tim Freeland was called upon to completely redesign the original layout. Our task was to make the best we could out of each area that's a golf hole. And then let's make it as bold and beautiful as we possibly can to match the, the homes and the, and the community around it. Throughout the layout, Tim Freeland took what was then an aging design and created a layout that flows ever so smoothly from tee to green. And along the way, well, he challenges the golfer to hit precise and accurate shots. Whether by lining the fairway with bunkers and strategic landing areas, or with the creation of green complexes that forces a player to become ever so creative with his or her short game. There's less priority of length and more on positioning. 